Set to go. And Mitch Freeman makes a good start. He'll lead the field up into turn number one. And his arch nemesis, Brock Webster, comes out of turn number two in second place. So a good start from the second row from him. But himself up into second. These two have been the class of the field so far this season. So they complete round one. And uh, they, in theory, will have a pretty good race over the course of this distance. Like Freeman is third. Let me go back to Alistair Freeman, Mike right Springfield. Beck Henry round out your, uh, your field as Rock Webster makes a mistake there in turn number four and pops up a bit of ground. Yeah, he certainly did. Mitch Freeman sets fastest over the race at 14, 8, the only one in the 14s on that lap. Webster trying to close him in. Last time by, two tenths slower. Does not want to lose any real estate. That time, the blind Fred Freeman bounces the car up and down in the gap, drops down to uh, half a second. Got one over over the back. Get out for the win. Mitch Freeman and Brock Webster, they go up into turn number one, so it's a, it's a match race. Oh, Webster bounces through that hump there in turn two that catches quite a few of them out. Now he's hard on it. The gap 0.5 of a second. 14 fours and 14 sixes, so they're not hanging around. Webster's actually closed it a little bit. Get the white flag this time. Freeman looking in control of this one. They fire down the back. Webster just moved up the track a little bit in turn two, hasn't he? Away from a little run. Webster up on the back wheels, takes the win. Freeman takes the win. Freeman, Mitchell, Mont Greenfield, Alistair Freeman, and Beck Henry. All D and F in that one. Hopefully we can get them all back out. But there's second heat a little bit later on. That's we get set to go. Speed cars, heat two. Good to see we've got uh, five of the six back out there. So, uh, good result. We started with six, we're back to five. And uh, Mick Freeman gets away nicely. Brock Webster, I think he's trying to get through into second. Oh, a bit of contact there with Alistair Freeman. Gets through. He's set out after Mitch Freeman. A bit to do, though. Freeman led by 1.4 seconds last time by. They worked the back straight. Freeman, Mitch Freeman leading. Brock <laughs> Webster is second. Put it careful because there's three Freemans in this field. Over half the field. Alistair Freeman is third. Then we go back to the 27 of Luke Freeman and Beck Henry. So the place that Beck is back out there. Yeah, so we've lost Michael Bridfield from, uh, from, for some reason. Right, red and yellow car. Flying Fred Freeman out here in front. With his man on the track, though, is Brock Webster. Gap, though, is 1.4 seconds. And the only couple of hundreds between them in lap time. Webster knuckling down, trying to blow in on Mitchell Freeman. Freeman in command of this one. He wants to make it two from two. Go back to Alistair Freeman doing a superb job back there. Third. Mitchell Freeman out in front. He's the man they call Fred. His brother is called Barney. Not hard to work out why. Fourth from wings of things. <laughs> out in front. Mitchell Freeman. Rock Webster still in hot pursuit. Alistair Freeman a long way back. In third. Almost half a lap behind his brother. Back to Luke Freeman. And back Henry. We keep forgetting there's money up for grabs here too, but I'd like to forget about it anyway. Thousand dollars up for grabs. And Mitch said, look, Rock got the first grand. Then he got the second grand, I want the third. Well, that's fair. It's called Cherry. We're all taught Cherry with kids. Now, race later. Down into the pit the uh, highway turn. Nine laps completed. The white flag is out. They run them into turn number one. The gap first to second is two seconds. Two point two, point two seconds. 
down the back straight. This is the final rack. Mitch Freeman will go two from two here. Takes the check and now second will go to the 91 machine of Brock Webster, the princess. Alistair Freeman up into third. The 22 machine. Then Luke Freeman, Mac Henry rounding out the finishes in heat two. Of Position. As <laughs> Free gets it, Green and side by side across the line. But it's Freeman that gets the better of it. Out of turn two, it's Freeman in front. Webster right with him. Webster looking for the run round the high line. Freeman currently in command of this one. Webster in high pursuit. Dad Kim will be just about having kittens. Webster goes to the high line, looks for the run around the outside, gets it done. That's a big ball passing move. Oh, that's a rip, isn't it? And Freeman tries to fight back in turn one. He wants the grand in the hand. That's what he wants. He's missed out two weeks in a row. It's gone to uh, the princess for the big bushy beard. And uh, he's keen to make it three from three. Three laps completed. He's actually put on the gap now. Back to uh, Mitch Freeman, it's 0.86 of a second. It certainly is. Rock Webster, just comfortably starting to stretch the legs. That little engine working overtime. That's Alistair, a great move. Alistair Freeman, Luke Freeman, and Beck Henry. So good to see Beck back out in the uh, race after that earlier incident. It's a savage rollover. She is tough. He's going to need a visit to Angry Man because he got the shot as he always does. Yeah, Brock Webster, your leader. 1.8 seconds was the gap. Let's see what it is out to now. 2.1. So Webster on eight mile. And once he got by, he just took off. He's on another stratosphere at the moment. Down through the highway too. And it won't be long and be coming around to put a lap on our fifth place car of Beck Henry. Seven down and three to go for Brock Webster. He's had a very, very good three weeks of racing. Took the state title, won again last week, and that looks like he's going to do it again here with two laps to run. The gap is out to 3.1 seconds, so he's just driving away with this one. Alistair Freeman is third, Luke Freeman is fourth, Ben Henry is fifth. Good thing is that the big prize money it's up for grabs, we're on our final lap. The big prize money that's up for grabs this year. They're going to do it each year in the hope to try and attract plenty of mainland entries. Rock Webster fires out of turn four for the final time, takes the win, and a grand in the hand. That's not to be sneezed at. Mitchell Freeman comes home. In. Rest of the family uh, at the first. Sit at home. Play per view will be at the track, so she chose the track. <laughs> Watch play, play per view if it works. <laughs> oh, no, there's a lot of talk on social media, all the very unhappy.